Hello and welcome to chapter 3 of our fire team tutorial series. This chapter we're covering everything to do with killing and dying of player characters. In this first episode we're going to cover how to create a death camera so that when you die we go into a third person point of view and able to see our character ragdolling around. So let's begin. So currently when we're shooting other players we just lose health, we haven't done nothing to do with the character actually dying. So what we're going to do is we'll make it change to a different camera. Now to do that we're going to go into our first person character and we're going to set up the spring arm and camera that is going to be used for the death. So I'm going to go click on my third person mesh here and I'm going to go add component and choose a spring arm. This spring arm is also going to have a camera attached to it. So now it's a matter of just repositioning the spring arm and the character camera to wherever you really want it to be really. Um, so in this case we're going to make the, um, the camera appear just behind it but more importantly the spring arm we're going to raise up to be more in line with the third person mesh uh, waist. So we go up like so, turn it around and that'll do. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to tell the spring arm that we want to use the pawn control rotation. This will allow us to manipulate the camera whilst we are dead, so we can look around our environment and watch our dead body just sit there. And we hit compile, and we're good there. So this camera at the moment is still active at the very start of the game. So we do need to click on the camera and change it to be non-active. So you just click on it. And go right down to the bottom of the details panel and you'll find the option for auto activate I'm going to turn that off okay the next thing we gonna do is we're going to go into designing the player's death so we're going to go to our event graph here and create a new function called character death so this is going to do a few things the first of all we want ragdoll so we're going to make our characters ragdoll around um, and then we want to change the different camera and disable movement and all these other things. So the first thing we do is we're going to enable ragdoll. So to do that, all you do is drag out your third person mesh. And we're going to do set simulate physics. And turn that on. That means it's going to drop to the floor. Then we want to make sure that the collision is enabled for our character mesh here. So we're going to drag this out again. And do set collision enabled. But we want this to only do physics queries. So physics only. Okay. We then want to tell our capsule component to have no collision because what's going to happen? The mesh is going to fall to the floor, but the capsules can still be there. And what we don't want to be is this obstruction that's invisible to us as a player. So when they die, we're going to turn the capsule component here to have no collision whatsoever. So uh, set collision enabled and change that to or keep it to no collision. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to disable all movement on our character so they can't be moved around. So you drag out your character movement component and do disable movement. We then want to make sure our health is definitely at zero. So just drag out your health variable and set it to zero. We then want to make our uh, weapons invisible in the game, so we can't see them anymore. So we're going to take out our FP gun and our TP gun, and we're going to do set hidden in game, and we want that to be true, both of them. True, and we'll just up TP gun as well, do that same thing. File and save that. Okay, so that's character death sorted out. We're just going to now put that onto our uh, event graph. So we go back to our event graph, go to where we have uh, the damage being done. And <clears throat> we're going to do a very simple uh, check to see what the health is like. So if we take out our health value and check to see if this is less than or equal to zero, put it into a branch. And then we're going to immediately put the true into a do once because we only can die once so we want to die once and if that is completed we're then going to do the character death function we just made okay. 
Now we do need to tell that to do uh, do the same thing for everyone else's uh, screen as well. Because at the moment, that's no longer the case. It's just our screen we want uh, changing. We need to make sure, or the server side anyway, we need to make sure that everyone is characters dying. So let's tell our owning client, first of all, that they died. And we're doing it the owner separately because the owner's going to have a slightly different setup than everyone else. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go and create a custom event called RPC um, character death. And as I said, you want that rated on owning client. Okay. So a few things. Uh, when we do it on our own character, it's very different. So what we want to do is we want to hide certain parts and show certain parts. Because currently we can only see our arms. We don't want to see arms falling on the floor. So let's take our uh, legs and mesh 2P. So mesh 2P and legs is both out. And we're going to do set owner no C. Be true. That's for both of them. Okay. And then we'll change it so we can see the third person mesh. Because by default your mesh is invisible in third person. So we're going to do set owner no C and leave that as false. Okay, then we have to switch cameras. We're switching between our first person camera and to our death camera. But let's just rename that camera there. Be called death camera. Okay, so we're going to take out our first person camera and deactivate it. And then in turn, we're going to make the death camera active. By doing activate. Okay. And compile and save that. So character death here, um, I mistakenly made it a function. We actually want to make it an event. So just do a right click on the character death function down here. And convert function to event. The reason why we have to do this is because we need it replicated. And you can't replicate function. Only events. So let's bring that in here. And I want that to be done by everyone. So I'm going to go to my replicates. And do it to multicast. And that should get multicasted out to everyone. And that be the case because the server is the one handling damage. Because only the server can handle damage. So that should be all good there. Okay, so next we're going to do is take to enter the death state. So that will kill the character. We actually want to then change it so the camera and all that is only going to affect the current client, not the not everyone. Okay, so if, everyone's going to have this same thing here, but we are going to have something different for our own character. So let's make a new custom event in here, and this is going to be a uh, only client call. So I'm going to put OTE and then do enter death state and as i said replication you want to be run on owning client okay so the reason why we need this is because we want to do a camera change and we need to change the visibility of some parts of our character uh based because we can only see our arms in the actual game we need to switch that around so let's take out our third person mesh and our legs Sorry, not a third person, our mesh 2p and our legs. And we're going to do set owner no c. And we'll make that true for both of those. And because the current owner is the client, they won't see them two parts. The mesh 2p is the arms and the legs are the legs. Then we want to make the third person mesh visible. So take out the third person mesh and do set owner no c. And you want to leave that as false. We then want to change cameras. Now to do that, we take out our first person camera, the one we currently have active, and set to deactivate. We then want to tell our other camera, our death camera, to activate. So drag that out and do activate. Okay. And hit compile and save that. So now let's go into our, uh, so OC, I need to actually call that, uh, OC enter 
death, uh, point, point damage. Okay, so after point damage is done, it's character death here. Um, we're going to drag in our OC enter death state. Oh, and save that. Okay, let's give that a test and see how that plays out. I have two characters here. And if I shoot this one. So I'm currently shooting as the server. I'm shooting the client. And there's our client go down. Bag a sack. And I can move the camera around his corpse. Around the environment and see what's going on. Now you see his health bar is still showing that little, uh, uh, little break. Uh, that's because it just didn't have that time to update it in, uh, for our character. So we need to make sure that's happening. So the health bar not updating is handled by the UI. And what's happening is the health value that we've told to replicate over isn't replicating fast enough for our UI to update. So we've got a few options. We can either delay the UI or um, change how the health system is working. And it's far easier just to delay the UI. Not by a lot, just by a little bit. Do just fine. Let's go into our game's health bar UI. Go to graph, and on the update bar, you're going to put in a little delay. And it could be 0.2, could probably do 0.1. Uh, so it's very short, doesn't need much. Compile and save that. And if I hit play now, as I shoot the other player, the health bar will deplete. And one more time go down okay let's now test it for the client hitting the server yeah server all right down it goes and there we have it we've now got our character falling around on the floor like a wet fish in the next episode we're going to go through the process of respawning our characters back into the game world so you can watch that next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley where you can catch all my videos early before everyone else. Massive thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone. I'm ready to play now. Put me in the game now. I came here to prove it. I'm ready to do it. I can't be afraid now. Put me on the stage now. I'm ready to rage now. I feel like an animal stuck in a cage and I'm ready to break out. My time, my time, none of you people can tell me to stop This time, like the last time, you better get ready to race to the top I'm ready to do this, show you what the truth is I step on the field, it's time to get real, I'm feeling so ruthless My time, my time, none of you people can tell me to stop